In this video, I'm going to do a complete step-by-step -step demo and review on Submagic. So by the end, you know exactly how it works and should you be using it. So let's get right into it. So Submagic is basically an easy way for you to create engaging animated captions to your videos. And you could do it within minutes without needing to hire a video editor or motion designer. So here's the homepage to the website. And let's go through some of their main key features. So one of the main features they have is the auto subtitle generator. They have one of the best auto accuracy in the market. They support over 50 languages. You can add high quality subtitles in just one click. You can also add animated emojis or sound effects to your videos in just a few clicks. So the next feature that they have is the B-roll. So this one, you can add B-rolls to your videos with AI. It's called Magic B-rolls. So it basically you can automatically find B-rolls that are relevant to your video, or you could search manually and add your own B-rolls easily with one of the feature. You can also add transitions and sound effects. And they offer many AI power Powered features as well, such as making transitions automatically, auto cutting the silent parts of your videos, and also generate description with AI. So they're constantly updating and adding new features, and these are the main features currently. Next, let me walk you through step by step how Submagic works. So once you're logged in, this is the home page that you'll see. You can come to create, and this is where you can upload your video. And when your video is uploaded, you can come here to name your file. You can choose a language. So for this file, it would be English and then just click upload and then Submagic will be generating captions in just a few minutes. Okay, so now the caption is generated. So what we can do is come to captions first and this is where you could see like a detailed list of your captions. And if you need to make any corrections, it's really easy. So let's say this is supposed to be AI tool. You just click on the word and you can make any correction like this. And let's say you want to add like a line break. So this is what you can do. Just click this and add line break. And that will add a line break in between the words. And then the emoji is included by default. So if you don't want it, you can just backspace this button and then that will remove the emoji. Next, we can come back to the style tab. So this is where you can choose your style for your captions. So for example, I have this one currently. So if you want to switch to another one, you can just pick and choose the other ones and you can freely just check them out to see which one you like the most. And once you have decided which one you like, you can further customize the theme by clicking here. You can choose a different font, the weight of the font, the size, the shadow. So you can make the style your own. So these are all the options that you can customize it. You could choose to include emojis or not, include animation, or even adjust the color. So for now, we'll just stick with this. I'll go back. And next, you can adjust the size. So let's say you want a smaller size. You can just toggle this. Let's go with 30. And then position, you can move the position upwards by just dragging this down as well. So let's say we place it in the middle here. So next, we can come to the B-Rolls tab. So this is where you can add the B-Roll. So my video doesn't really need B-Rolls, but if you need it, you can just click on the plus sign. Click on this icon. And then you could just search up whatever B-Rolls that you're looking for. Let me just type in laptop. And these are all videos that you could use for laptop. So let's say I want to pick out this one just to show you an example. And then that will automatically import it into your video as a B-roll. And you can also add the transition animation here by just selecting one of these options. So let's say, for example, you want to add the film burn transition animation. Just click this and then it's there. So adding transition here is super easy. And once you're done, just click apply. That's all you got to do. So next, let's come to the publish tab. So this is where you can generate music. And on the bottom here, this is where you can generate the description and hashtag with the help of AI. So you can just copy this as ideas, or if you don't like this version, you can just come down here and click regenerate. And then you'll get a new version of it. You can choose a short version or a long version. So when you're done with your file, you can come up here to either save your project or you can just export your file. And once you click export, it'll say they'll email you when your video is ready. And typically it'll just take a few minutes. So next I'll talk about the pros and cons of Submagic. So I think there are many pros. So the first one is that it's easy and simple to use. The interface is intuitive and there are many trendy styles and templates that you could choose from as you saw in the examples previously. And then the captions that it generates, it is very high in quality with animations. There are many AI features built in and they are constantly updating with new and useful features. So it makes for a great option, especially for short form content. 
And next we'll talk about the cons of Submagic. There are not many cons I could find, but you know, based on the reviews I've read and my own experience, one of the small cons is that it is internet dependent. So you do need internet or Wi-Fi to access the software. And the next con is that it doesn't have any native mobile application, but you can access it through the browser on your phone. So I think that's pretty small as well. So I think overall the pros definitely outweighs the cons. So next, let's check out the reviews of Submagic under Product Hunt. So Product Hunt is a website where you could find all types of different software. So overall, the reviews of Submagic is very, very high. So as you can see here, based on 50 reviews, it has a 4.9 stars. And when you scroll down, most of these are verified and these are real people reviewing the app. So the first one says, I've been searching for an easy way to add captions to my content and Submagic was the missing piece of my puzzle. I've tried the tool and it is a magic. So I encourage you to check out these reviews this website if you want to but overall i would say that majority of the reviews are really positive so here we have a side-by-side -side comparison between Submagic and a few of its competitors that's on the market today, including Opus Clip, Video, Subtitle, and CapCut. So each of these softwares are really good in their own ways, and I'm a huge fan of CapCut for video editing, but in terms of generating high-quality captions for short-form videos, incorporating animations and emojis, as well as having the necessary AI tools, as you can see, Submagic really beats out the rest in terms of comparing to different similar softwares. So my experience with Submagic has been really great. And if you're someone who values the ease of use and the speed to create amazing captions with minimal effort, then I think Submagic could be a really good fit as well. And if you do decide to move forward, you can get a discount on your subscription if you use my code KUMO10. Link is in the description. And I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.